Given your experience as a frontline manager, what's different to move to a manager of managers? First, let's compare the business side. An M1 needs to set the goal for the team, but an M2 needs to set a strategy for the organization. An M1 mainly does cross-team collaboration, but an M2 needs to collaborate across departments that involve more complex businesses. An M1 needs to align plans and executions with her manager and her peer M1s. But an M2 needs to align strategies with her executives and other M2s. An M1 typically plans and thinks one year ahead at most. But an M2 needs to plan and think multiple years ahead. Second, let's compare the people side. These two diagrams show the degree of connections that are critical for an M1 versus an M2. To an M1, there are three relationships that are critical with her team members, her senior manager, and her peer managers. To an M2, there are five relationships that are critical with her M1 members, also her senior individual contributor members, and with her executive managers with her peer M2s and with her peer M1s. You need to always consider the dynamics between all these connections in a web, so it requires a higher degree of interpersonal awareness. An M1 needs to set a role model for her individual members regarding execution, but an M2 needs to set a role model for her reporting managers regarding leadership. An M1 is a receiver of a reorg, but an M2 can initiate reorgs across multiple teams. An M1 hires and manages performance of individual contributors only, but an M2 needs to hire and manage both reporting managers as well as some key individual contributors. An M1 needs to solve uh, normal interpersonal conflicts, but when they cannot solve it, they will escalate to M2, which is only left with the more challenging situations that are beyond M1's control. And further, an M1 needs to hire for diversity regarding demographics and uh, seniority of experiences. But if it cannot achieve it due to small team size and a headcount, it's understandable. But it's a must for an M2 to have diversity in a team. Otherwise, it will impact the team health and the culture uh, negatively. To summarize, the challenges that you will face on M2 will be bigger and more complicated than M1 on both the business and the people side. In the following episodes, let's look at how to handle some of the more common challenges.